The base is a cyclohexane because there's six inside the ring. Uh, there's some substituents uh, or branches, and those are these three trimethyl. And then there's this big one. It's one, two, three, four. It's a butyl. There's actually a specific way to name it when it's that long that we're not going to worry about, but it's a type of butyl, we'll just call it butyl. And then the numbering. Uh, what can be helpful is first to realize, well, this is going to be uh, alphabetical. Maybe it won't be helpful. So we've got butyl and trimethyl. Where do we want to put the one? To get the whole set of numbers. You want it here? Okay. To go around counterclockwise? That's one option. So this would give us, uh, if we numbered it like that, let's see, butyl needs to come first. So it's a 2 butyl dash 1, 3, 4 trimethyl cyclo. Hexane. Uh, if we numbered it the other way, starting one here, one, two, three, four, then we'd have three, uh, one, two, four. Which set of numbers do you like, the top or the bottom? Top or bottom. We'll keep it at the top just because it starts with a lower number first. Okay, so it's 2,134 instead of 3,124. So, though they're the same numbers. Yeah? So whenever it's a ring, it's a cyclo? Yeah, whenever it's a ring, you have to put cyclo here. If you didn't, uh, if you didn't have this, what would it be? Well, you'd have a hexane as the main chain. Uh, on the second one would be a butyl. And then on uh, one, three, and four, it would look something like that. So not only did you forget the cyclo, you obviously had to have named it wrong. Because the main chain would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a non-name with an ethyl and two methyl substituents. Okay? Question? Yeah. Isn't there a priority for the numbering? Like, do you have to start from ethyl or from butyl? Like, Not yet. Oh, do you have to start from ethyl or butyl? Not yet. Later, when there's a functional group on the ring, you have to have priority there. But so far, we don't have any. They're all alkane, alkyl groups. But later, when you get to naming other functional groups, it does matter where you put the one. So right now you can just start from any metal group? Whatever. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's try another one. Um, So these are fun. You can draw whatever on the board and you can name it. Okay? So you and your friend can make up squiggly structures and try to name it. So it has four in the ring. It has to be a cyclobutane as the base name. And then it's got a lot of substituents. One's an ethyl. The others are methyls. And there's one, two, three, four, five. So it's pentamethyl. Uh, so there's a pentamethyl What's that? There's one isopropyl. Oh, that's a great question. It almost looks like isopropyl, but isopropyl would uh, if this it would look like this. It would look like a Y. 
So they, since they're attached directly, uh, there's only two carbons. So All right, and now the numbers. Where do you want to put number one? You want to put it here? If we did that, that would give the ethyl a one. The methyls would have two, two, three, four, four. Any other options? Start at one of the methyls. You want to start one here? And go which way? Mm -hmm. uh, clockwise or counterclockwise? Down or to the right? Two, three, four. That would be <laughs> four, one, one, two, three, three. Is anything better than that or different? Okay. Which one do you prefer? Bottom or top? If you're not sure, you can kind of go through and cancel stuff out. There's a four on both, so those are like neutral, right? There's a three on both, those are neutral. There's a, a two on both, those are neutral. And there's a one. So we're comparing a two and a four and a one and a three. We'll take the bottom one, the one that has the one and the three. In class, we had something a little different, uh, where we have the same set of numbers either way, so then we pick the one with the lowest number first. But in this case, we've got two totally different choices. So we'll pick four ethyl, one comma one comma two comma three comma three, uh, pentamethyl, uh, what is it, a cyclobutane. Is it that you decide, like, oh, the first number is smaller, so we'll go with that, versus the canceling out? Well, usually you cancel out, like we did here, mm -hmm. back and forth, then see what's left over. If everything cancels, you know, and then, then I pick the lowest number to be the first number. Okay, so is that what happened in the example before that, when the exact number was smaller than the total thing? So yeah, I think that happened here. You're right. You're right. So here's that kind of example where we could have done, we did two, we could have done a three uh, and a one, two, four. Those are all four of the same numbers. Oh. So then let's pick this one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, would it change any if we still have your one at the top left hand corner? Oh no, that's a new like idea. Clockwise. You want the one here? One there, two down below, where the um, ethyl. Here? Yeah. And then, um, right, would it change? Okay, let's try it. So that would be two, maybe it's better. Two, uh, one, one, three, three, four. It all costs cancels. Uh, let's see. One, two threes two cancel. Threes. A two cancels. Both ones cancel. Four can yeah, yeah, four cancels. Which one do we want, the top or the bottom? Okay, now we'll take the bottom. So that's kind of the question you were just asking. So now we're going to take the bottom one. They're all the same numbers, but this gives me the lower first number. Oh well, two. <laughs> and then it's one, one, three, four. Great. Is there a better idea out there? Great. Is there another idea? Uh, oh, okay, I'll say one thing. The rings are always significantly more difficult because the straight chains, you either number one on the right or one on the left. Here, there's eight possibilities, really, because there's four possibilities for the one and you go counterclockwise or clockwise. 